Hello, and welcome to the introduction and overview to Studio Suite 9. What is Studio Suite? Well, it's studio management software for video post-production facilities, recording studios, TV and film production companies, rental companies, video game development, and graphics companies. What does it do? It does a lot. The modules are divided into groups to manage your office, your studio, and your tech details. The office group has 15 modules, starting with contacts, calendar, communications, tasks, Productions, which is like a parent to multiple projects, and projects, and events, which is line items within a project. Web requests allows customers to make requests for studio services through a browser. Invoices, rates, which is what you charge for items and services, petty cash, purchase orders, employee schedules, budgets, like AICP budgets and recording budgets, and categories and items, which is where you can specify additional items and services. The next group is the studio group which includes the library module, which is physical and digital asset management, titles, which is individual songs, cuts, clips, cues, scenes, spots on a particular library reel, uh, and media inventory, which is your blank inventory of tapes, cartridges, CDs, DVDs, P2 cards, etc. There's now a FTP client built into Studio Suite, which logs, manages your electronic deliveries, the recall module, which allows you to document audio outboard gear settings, samples and clips, the new Quick Log module provides freelancers an easy way to log themselves into projects, document their hours and the work that they've done, and barcodes, which prints out sheets and sheets of barcodes. The next module is the Tech Group, which includes rooms where you define all of the different spaces that you can work in, all of the equipment and which room they're in, patch bay labels if you still have a patch bay, equipment maintenance, your spare parts, and customizations, which is a place where you can keep track of any kind of custom work that you've done to Studio Suite. Now, all of those separate sections add up together to build the main menu. You can see all the buttons there. And we need to mention that if you're not interested in all of these modules or you have particular staff members that you do not want to have access to, say, the invoice module or the rates module, uh, you can turn those off on a per user basis. So certain users do not have access to those modules or they just don't show up on your main menu at all. Now, on the right side, we have what we call the dashboard, and this is where we can see details of this particular day. So we've got daily notes, which applies to everybody, messages, which are for the person that's currently signed in, tasks for the person currently signed in, callbacks, and all events on this particular day. Stu Suite now comes in four versions. Solo, which is aimed at students and at-home hobbyists. Stu Suite Solo is not customizable uh, and single user. Studio Suite Pro is for a professional that still works at home, needs more power than solo, needs to be able to do some customization. Network is for a multi-room facility where multiple people need to have access to Studio Suite. And the internet version is accessible through a browser. We'll talk more about the internet version in a minute. For a comparison of all these different versions, please see our website. Studio Suite is completely cross-platform, works on Mac and PC. Now in terms of users, the Solo and Pro versions are single user, and the network and internet versions are multi-user, and they're client server based, and they can be any mix of Macs and PCs. Now the internet version is again hosted by you, it's not a service, so you keep and control the files. Studio Suite runs on FileMaker Pro and FileMaker Server. Studio Suite Solo does not require a FileMaker and consequently is single user and cannot be customized. Studio Suite Pro requires FileMaker Pro 9 or greater. Studio Suite Network requires FileMaker Pro 9 or greater on all client machines and FileMaker Server or greater on the server. And Studio Suite Internet requires FileMaker Pro or greater on all client machines and FileMaker Server Advanced or greater on the server. Now, when you buy Studio Suite from us, we sell it with all the FileMaker components, so you don't need to worry about that, but we just want to make sure you know what the architecture is. Now, Studio Suite is customizable, that is, all versions except Solo. Uh, so you've got access to Layout Mode and Script Maker, so you can easily modify screens and printouts to look the way you want, and even create buttons that call your own scripts that perform automated functions that you design. Now, you can do the customizations yourself, or we can do them for you at an hourly rate. Uh, again, Solo is not customizable. Now let's talk a bit about the internet version. This is not a service. It's hosted on your server, so you keep in control all the files, and it includes the full functionality of the network version when you access it via FileMaker Pro, but about 75% of the functionality is available through a browser. So think of the browser access as read-only plus, meaning that some of the features are not accessible through a browser. So it's not intended for a primary, full-time, heavy-duty use, but for a quick update, an edit, or a search from home uh, on the road or remote studio. 
So the next video is about the main menu, the basic setup of Studio Suite, and Studio Suite navigation. Please check it out, and thanks for watching.